Hey Data fans, Reed here. Today we get an early Christmas present with the introduction of sparklines to the native table and matrix visuals in Power BI. For those of you who've been following my channel for a little while now, you might know that I had previously built up a fairly robust sparkline using SVG images. Now, there are some pros and cons to each method actually, so let's hop into Power BI and compare them. The table I have here at the bottom contains both my original SVG sparklines you see on the left, plus two of the new types of sparklines or spark columns that can be added. And one of the nice things about the SVG one is I had the ability to shade the area, plus also color the high and the low points. So there was a lot of configurations that I was able to do with this. The downside though is as you can see, I have to render it in a square. So I'm not actually able to stretch this out over, which can create peaks and valleys that seem really high by comparison. Now the sparkline that I have over here to the right is a sparkline and the new sparkline column that was added natively. You can see that they're actually in here in the well under the values as new sparkline and new spark column. So I'm actually gonna go through the process of setting one of these up to show you how you can create it. I'm gonna delete this here. I'm gonna to come to sales amount, click the drop down, select add sparkline, and it will ask me what my Y axis is. So that's basically what values do I wanna display as my measure. And I'm gonna use sales amount. Now the summarization will only come into play if you're using a native column. I will suggest typically as a best practice, you should be using a measure here. And for the X axis, let's go ahead and put month and year. Select that, click create. Now it's gonna put it on the end of the table by default. I'm gonna take it and move it up so we can see it. There we are. And let's go ahead and configure it a little bit as well. I'm gonna select the format painter. I'm gonna come down to spark lines. And you'll notice that I actually have a drop down to configure both my spark line here that I just created and the spark column that I've already created. So I'm gonna keep it onto here. We'll have a chart type option. So if I scroll down a bit, we'll see that we have an option for a line or a column. The column is pretty basic. All you really have is an option to choose the color at this point, but the line itself has a few more options in here. You can choose the stroke width, you can also choose to show any of these markers in here. Generally speaking, I like to show the highest and lowest. Now the one downside is you can only choose the data color and marker color. I'm hoping at some point they do update this to allow us to choose more than one marker color because I would like to be able to color green and red or at least choose more than one color for the markers, especially when I'm showing all the different markers on here. So it will help to just provide better analytics that way. And then finally, you have an additional configuration to choose the marker size and the shape as well. But overall, I think this is a huge step forward. The biggest limitation of that SVG, even though it's so configurable on how it looks, is the fact that it has to be rendered in a square, which is terrible for trying to show it over a time comparison or anything with a lot of unique categories on the x-axis. So the fact that I can now resize this is a huge step forward. Someday soon, I'm hoping they add the ability to color those markers or do a fill area to make it a bit closer to what the spark line that I've done in the SVG looks like or even some of those custom sparklines you can get from the visual store. But this is a great starting point and hopefully it's something you can use in your reports as well. Please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. Now, if this is your first time to my channel or you wanna see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. Also, feel free to show your support by becoming a channel member. Last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below. So until next time.